Oh my God, you are good. Oh my God, you are good. Oh my God, you are good. You are good to me, you are good. Oh mon Dieu, tu es bon. Oh mon Dieu, tu es bon. Oh mon Dieu, tu es bon. Tu es bon pour moi, tu es bon. Hi, my special LHM tribe. It's good to be back home. Yes, and I was not going to let no lights and tiredness and everything rob me of my joy of leading this evening devotions, right? Our evening devotion on this 24th day of May is taken from the letter to the Philippians, chapter 1, verse 27. Conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. Wow, what an exhortation. This signifies the whole course of our life and behavior in the world. What sort of life is this? In the first place, the gospel is very simple. Therefore, Christians should be simple and plain in their habits. This simplicity that is the very soul of beauty should be evident in our actions, our speech, our dress, and our whole behavior. Help me, God. Oh. The gospel is preeminently true. It is gold without dross. And the Christian's life will lack radiance and value without the jewel of truth. The gospel is a very bold gospel. It is fearlessly, it fearlessly proclaims the truth, whether people like it or not. We must be equally faithful and unflinching. But the gospel is also very gentle. Notice this spirit in its founder. A bruised reed he will not break. Isaiah chapter 42 verse 3. Some people who profess to be Christians are sharper than a torn edge, but such people are not like Jesus. When I was in the village recently, I had to bring peace back into the home and stuff because when I left, there was some problem that came out and I was like, no, I cannot as a Christian take sides. Peace is all I know and I want for you people in this family. Okay. Um, let us seek to win others by the gentleness of our words and actions. The gospel is very loving. It is the message of the God of love to a lost and falling race. Christ's command to his disciples was, Love one another, John 13, verse 34. Oh, for more real, wholehearted love for all the saints, for more tender compassion towards the souls of the worst and vilest person. We must not forget that the gospel of Christ is holy. It never excuses sins. It pardons sins, but only through an atonement. If our life is to resemble the gospel, we must not only shun the more obvious sins, but we must also avoid everything that will hinder our perfect conformity to Christ. Yes, that is why.